For this exercise, we need to determine the product of two 3x3 three three matrices and also solve a set of equations. So our first step is to determine M n. Because both of them are 3x3, three three, the outcome will be a 3x3 three three matrix as well. For now, we denote the entries using alphabet A to I. Let's look at how each of the entries can be computed. So first of all, because A is in the first row and the first column, we take the first row of M and the first column of N, multiply each pair of entries, and then sum them up. So here the first pair will be minus 1 and 3, the second pair will be minus 1 and 2, and the third pair will be 4 and 2. Adding up the products, we get A equals 3. So we will follow the same principle for the remaining entries. Now moving on, because B is in the first row and the second column, we stay on the first row of M, but we shift to the second column of N. And then we repeat the multiplication and addition. This gives us 0 for B. Same thing applies to C. And then moving on to D, because D is in the second row and the first column, we have to move on to the second row of the M. Multiplying entries by entries, and then summing up the results, we get 0 for D. And I trust that you can finish the remaining calculation by yourself. You should end up with a diagonal matrix where the diagonal entries are all 3s, and everywhere else is 0. So the other thing we need to do is to solve the set of equations. Normally you can solve this via substitution, but the intention here is to apply the matrix method because we just did some matrix operations. So to rewrite the set of equations into a matrix equation, we take the coefficients of x, y, z in that order and put them into a coefficient matrix. Each row of your coefficient matrix corresponds to the coefficients in the original equation set. The constants on the right-hand side of the equation set will appear as a vector on the right-hand side. Notice that the coefficient matrix is actually identical to the given matrix N. So for now, we can express this matrix equation as Nx equals C. Normally, if you were to solve such a matrix equation, you might have to find the inverse of N and then multiply both sides of the matrix equation by the inverse of n will allow you to isolate the unknown vector on one side of the equation. However, it can be very time consuming to determine the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix by hand. But because the coefficient matrix is simply n, and instead of multiplying both sides by the inverse, we multiply both sides of the equation by m. And because mn is a diagonal matrix, the left-hand side of the equation simply boils down to a vector of 3x, 3y, and 3z. As for the right-hand side, in comparison, this is actually much simpler than finding the inverse of n. So doing the operation row by row, we will obtain a vector containing minus 3, 6, and 0. So eventually, we just have to equate the left-hand side with the right-hand side, and we will find out that x equals minus 1, y equals 2, and z equals 0.